Hello friends, my name is Sumit and I welcome all of you to the video series of BISPtrainings.com. In this video, I am going to demonstrate you how to set up and configure Git on an Ubuntu Linux operating system. Git is an online repository which can be used to store the files and the data so that it can be shared with all the developers at the same time and all of them they would be able to get the updated records updated files every time so let's have a look how we are going to see and how do we are going to install git on an ubuntu operating system so i have already installed linux in my vm and i'm going to use setup the git on over that so i'm going to start my terminal first of all I start my terminal. And here I pass a command sudo apt get install git. And I press enter. Because it's a sudo, so basically it's a super user and it requires the super user password to be provided. So I provide my super user password as GISP. And as you can see here, I got a message. GIT is or Git is already the newest version. That is 1.2.7.4.0 uh, Ubuntu. It means that the GIT has already satisfied in my operating system. It's already configured. It's already installed in my op on my operating system. I would like to check whether GIT is installed or not. And what is the version? So I use GIT, I pass a command in this command prompt, GIT version, and the version I'm using it, uh, which has installed in my operating system is 2.7.4. If you want to find out the location of GIT, so I write where is GIT, and it gives me the location. So GIT has been installed in user bin GIT. That's the location where GIT has been installed. Now the second thing we need to do is we need to create a new credential. We need to create a new repository account on GIT website on a GIT on a GitHub website. So I open browser and I visit a link. I pass a link HTTPS slash github.com. So this will be an online repository and we will be going to link this online repository with GIT on our Ubuntu operating system. So it says it's already logged in. So I just logged out and that's the home screen when you visit this website, when you visit the open this link, that's the home page. And here you need to provide your details and click on sign up for GitHub. So in my case, I have already registered on GitHub. So I simply click on sign in and I'm going to log in into my GitHub. So I provide my username. My username is Sumit World 2006 and I provide the password and sign. So I logged in into my GitHub. That's my re online repository account. And here uh, I can store the files and the links of those files I can share with my developers so that they can also access the same GitHub. So all of them, they would be able to access the same repository. Now I need to configure the Git. I need to uh, configure this online repository with my uh, terminal. So for that, I need to pass few commands. So for that, first of all, we need to create a new repository online uh, and then that repository will be linked with the uh, local directory. So I click on this option, click new repository. And I provide a name to this repository. I give a name and I give a name as BISP test git. Make sure that whatever name we will be providing to this repository name, the same name we will be going to use while we are linking this repository with our directory on our operating system. And so I can add a description. This kit is only for testing purpose by BISP and public. I'll go with public. So public means anyone can see this repository. And if you want only 
you want to keep the ownership so in that case you go for private so in this case even though the user they have got the credentials they have got the link for this repository they will not be able to commit any files into this so i'll i'll, I'll keep it as public and click on create repository button so it will create a repository button and here you can see it gives few commands and what it says to create a new repository on the command line so these command lines these command uh, will help us to link our repository or our this command will help to upload the file in this but in this repository as well as to commit changes in this repository from a local directory so let's do one thing first of all i'm going to uh, create a directory on my local system so i'll create a directory so i'm on desktop so i move to desktop cd cd desktop i move to desktop list so there is only one project file is coming so i create a the new directory mkdir bisp git and test or i use the same name so it's bisp test git so bisp test git so i copy this and paste it and as soon as i press enter a new directory has been created so i moved into that directory cd and bisp test git it is blank right now so now i'm going to pass the commands one by one which are mentioned over here so what are these command the first command is to create a new directory new file basically name uh, with extension .md so i copy this command and pass this command on my terminal paste and enter so it will create a new readme.md file let's have a look in this by get into this directory so we have got read and if i open this so this file contains bisp test git a simple command so a new file has been created within this directory bip test git the next command is to initialize it so i copy this command and pass this command here paste get in it so the initialization has been done so basically a link is going to be established with the current git folder with all the files in this current git folder then git add readme.md so this command will re, will uh, upload the file basically this command will add the read.md file to the to the git so i press enter and commit the changes with a description so i paste it and instead of first commit i can say read me file is saved is saved and enter so as you can see here read me file has been saved one file change one insertion has been done so create mode is this one so it will be going to create a new readme.md file in this git folder in this git directory right now this git file will be blank so now it will be going to create a new file next is to uh, basically will be going to add the remote origin so this url gives the link to the git hub basically this command helps us to link the directory to the git hub so i copy this and pass this in this terminal paste and enter now the link has been established between the uh, between the directory and the git hub this bisp test git and finally i pass this command so this command is basically to push all the changes to the online git repository and when i press enter it try to commit the changes but it ask for the username so i provide my credentials of the git so i provide my credentials and the password so i provide my password and enter and after i press enter everything is goes successfully fine and it says counting three objects three is done it means the object has been the file has been successfully uploaded in this directory in this github so let's do one thing i simply click on this bisp test git 
and let's find out whether the readme file has been readme.md file has been uploaded or not so see readme file is saved is saved successfully so two minutes ago the file has been stored and that's the read readme.md uh, let's try to do one thing let's try to create a new file and upload that file in the same git directory so for this first of all i clear the console and i'm going to create a new file so i create a new file in the same uh, BISP test git directory which is stored on on the local system on your operating system so i create a new command i pass a command cat and i want to create bisp test or let's say bisp file and this is a test file by bisp for testing git that's all commit the changes by pressing control C and let's have a look so the file has been created read me uh, BSP file and let's have a look I BSP file and if I open it I got the same message this is a test file by BSP for testing GIT so the file has been created successfully now we are going to commit the changes or we are going to upload the file on our repository so for this I'm going to pass the same command which I did for readme.txt this time I do not need to uh, basically I do not need to uh, pass if I do not need to use this this is for creating a file this is to initialize so initialization has already been done so I do not need to initialize again I simply pass a command git add instead of readme.md I write the file name BISP file let's have a look yeah we have BISP file BISP file dot BISP file simple and we can look at the extension as well BISP git and BISP file property so this one is simple text plane file right so I simply pass BISP file then the next command is to set the remote to commit the changes so I press commit and I change this BISP file has been saved so the commit the changes has been done and now uh, I refer to the I set the remote origin so add it it's already exist I simply just pass it in just in case if the connection has been break so just to uh, reset the connection if connection breaks so this will reset the connection with the uh, with the online repository and finally I pass this command git push u origin master so this is to commit all the changes to the online repository and again it will ask for the credentials so again I pass my credentials for the online repository for git and password finally I got the confirmation message it's done now let's have a look again I click on BISP test GIT and successfully BISP file has been stored and if I click on this file I got the message this is a test file by BISP for testing GIT so that's how we can create a repository online repository in GIT and github and by using this method we can link this uh, online repository with our local directory by using commands on Ubuntu operating system so that's all in this video if you have any queries you can write to us on www.bisptrainings.com you can subscribe our YouTube channel for more videos on DevOps in in the same series keep watching have a nice day goodbye